Hey everyone, welcome back. I never did get to react to the Boston Dynamics robot. I really wanted to react to this, but I was just late. I do apologize. Robotics is quickly becoming a bigger and bigger thing for a lot of industry around the world. Most notably are Boston Dynamics. They've been doing this for a long time, for, for a few years now. They've been innovating in this space. Tesla is a newcomer and they've been doing well as well. I made a video a matter of weeks ago on the Neo Factory introducing robots to their manufacturing line, or at least they were just testing them out. So clearly robotics is advancing very quickly. And clearly the race right now is between the US and China. These are your big superpowers. These are your big industry. Both countries are seeing great success in various different areas in various different ways, using various different strategies to accomplish this. So who's going to win this AI and robotic race between the US and China? But what Boston Dynamics is showing is something to be marveled at. So let's play this video and let's try to understand the buzz. You know, what's driving people crazy right now? This is what's driving people crazy. You could never expect, I, no one expected that. And this is what people didn't expect, that. Wow. Wow. Absolutely, like just look at the intricacies, look at the simplicities. They've built so many robots, they've refined it, they've perfected it, they've perfected their craft. Obviously, there's a lot of improvements that they're going to make, but Boston Dynamic have made something incredible here, seriously. <clears throat> And, you know, of course, a lot of these technologies have been around for quite some time, but continuously, it, right now especially, is where it's really ramping up. you got to realize, if you go back to the oldest video, this was Boston Dynamics. This was them like 15 years ago making these things. And I remember these. I remember these videos on YouTube. This was a long time ago. For me, I remember watching these videos back in like 2012, a very long time ago. So Boston Dynamics have been around for a very long time. They've been working incredibly hard and they've been building some incredible technology and it just continues to get better and better to a scary amount. This was Boston Dynamics. This was one of Boston Dynamics most famous robots. You know, this is one of their most famous robots. And this, this robot is partly, you know, the, the prototype to what we have right now. You know, it's, it's, it's the beta, you know. What we have right now is an improvement in every way, every singular way. They've tested, researched, they've worked, they've advanced, and they just continue to improve to a stage where right now, you know, this is what we have, you know, a robot that does something that deceives your perception. It deceives your mind. It changes your opinion on what's possible for robotics. And just how soon we, are, we might have robotics driving vehicles, working in more industry. This, a police in the road. I mean, so this came out quite recently. An Apple smart home robot is reportedly in the works. Now, this is quite bizarre that this came out of the media. You know, it's just a random news that got released. This is after Apple quit their Apple car project, which I think is perhaps one of the biggest disappointment if you're into Apple, you know, products, you know, Apple quitting electric vehicles is it's big. And I think it's, it's probably at the stage where they're just thinking to themselves, we could just buy an electric vehicle, but they've been working on that project for so long. And to just see it just being quit like that, it's almost as if they just found something that they're just like, we can either do this, we can either try again in a few years, or there's something more important that we should be working on right now. What is that thing? What is the thing that Apple has been saying continuously for the last couple of years? Not AI. They've been avoiding saying that for years. What Apple prefers to say is machine learning. That's what Apple prefers to say. They don't use the AI word. They prefer to say machine learning because so many other companies are using the AI name. And Apple loves to differentiate itself from every other company. They don't like being like any other company at all. They found it very disrespectful to their very nature, to the core. They love to differentiate themselves. And using the name machine learning is better for Apple from an Apple perspective. And machine learning, the phrase have been around for as long as time, as long as computer has been around, that word has been around, that phrase has been around. So it's nothing new, but it's just that Apple doesn't want to jump on the AI bandwagon. 
that's they don't want to seem like they're jumping on the AI bandwagon, but that's exactly what they're doing. They're just calling it machine learning. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. So why is it more important that Apple works on AI and robotics right now? Because that's where the innovation is. We know how to build electric vehicles. We know how to build electric vehicles. There's no mystery there. Apple could easily just buy one of those companies at any moment. They could buy Lucid, they could buy Polestar, they could buy Rivian. God damn it, they could buy Tesla if they wanted to. I mean, they could buy Boston Dynamics, but, you know, nothing surprised me anymore. But I think Apple has noticed that AI in the last few years have really taken the world by storm. AI in computing, AI out of computing, AI in cars, AI robotics, AI machine learning. This is a big thing right now. And Tesla has been building a robot. Chinese companies have been ramping up production and innovation in robotics. This is a space that there's still a lot of mystery in AI. Almost anything is possible in AI. It's the new frontier. That's what AI is. This is like when mankind started building big ships and they were able to travel along the Pacific back and forth at their leisure. And they kept on innovating and improving that ship technology, eventually making steam engines and, and, and ships built out, of, built out of metal. This is AI right now. It's an innovation stage that we don't know what it's going to lead to. It might lead to the newfound promised land. And that's what Apple is thinking. They want that, whatever that is, because there is no limitations to AI, no limitations. And it is to a point where it could get really scary for companies and for the people. Apple wants to understand it. Apple wants to master AI. Apple wants to encourage AI. They want to be the leading force in AI. And because they have this fantastic company called Apple with thousands of developers and coders, they just realize, hold on a minute. <clears throat> Are you trying to tell me that we allowed people to beat us to the electric vehicle Basically, Tim Cook was just like, are you trying to tell me that we allowed people to beat us to the electric cars, but we're going to allow people to, to beat us again to AI and robotics? No, 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 no. We can't allow that. And in fact, Apple is behind. They're behind Tesla. They're behind China. They're behind Boston Dynamics and other robotics companies. But Apple realized that they don't need to catch up in electric vehicles. They could just buy a company. I mean, like I said, they could buy an AI company as well. But again, they don't want to be an AI. And Apple loves to build something of their own. It's rare that they buy a company. Or it's rare that they buy a big public-facing company like Boston Dynamics. Apple likes to buy smaller companies. They like to stay under the radar. Everything is private. Everything is very covert. So Apple is like, well, no one is really making anything incredible in AI and in robotics yet. Nothing out of the norm, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing that really changes the world overnight. I mean, Boston Dynamics is close, obviously, with that robot that, that I was just showing you. It is clear that Boston Dynamics is very close. Tesla is getting close to, to self-driving technology and to robotics technology. Apple is just realizing that we cannot lose the AI and robotic race. We lost the EV race. We cannot do this again and mess up. And they're absolutely right. So it makes a lot of sense that Apple just sees all focus on electric vehicles and put almost 100% focus on AI and robotics because you can always go back to electric vehicles. Like I said, there's no mystery there. We know how to build electric vehicles. And if anything, Apple staying away from electric vehicles right now is probably good for them in terms of PR because what are electric vehicles linked to? Lithium batteries. What are lithium batteries linked to? A lot of negative press such as the theft, the illegal mining, child slavery of lithium, all these rare earth materials. Apple wouldn't want to be linked to these, and they're already linked to these. There's protests at Apple stores now and then, protesting Apple that they are profiting of child slavery because children are mining lithium in um, African countries, which is entirely true. This is something that's happening. So Apple wants to avoid this at all costs. Why do other companies get away with it? Tesla. Why do all the electric vehicle companies get away with it? And this is nothing new. Why do all technology companies get away with it? Who use lithium batteries? Probably illegally sourced. So I think Apple just sees a lot of benefits staying away from electric vehicles temporarily and putting a lot of focus into AI and to 
into robots because they're seeing that there's definitely a future there. And if anything, more than more down than ever, Apple releasing their AR, VR headset, spatial computer, that, that's what they call it. They realize that AI is going to be incredibly important. Machine learning is going to be incredibly important for that AR headset as well. So it's going to benefit Apple in a lot of ways. And if they can lead this industry even better, and knowing Apple, knowing Apple, they'll be creating the best products behind the scene. They'll have the best technology behind the scene. They'll wait till Boston Dynamics deliver a final product. They'll wait till Tesla builds a final product. They'll wait till China builds a final product. And then Apple will come along and build a better product and steal the entire spotlight and be like, by the way, this is our product. It's better than everyone else's. They'll, it'll be better than everyone else's, but they won't say that, but it's obvious. Like it's, here's our product. We've improved what you did, but we just made it better in every way. That's what Apple does with everything. And Apple going into this industry is probably the best thing for this industry because now it's got the Apple approval. Same thing with the spatial computer, the VR, AR headset. Apple going into that industry is the best thing to happen to that industry because now Apple is in it. If you know what I'm talking about, then you understand. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me know and I'll create another video explaining what I really mean. But I hope you enjoyed this video. This is wild. I look forward to seeing more, but the next five to 10 years for AI and robotics is going to be wild. If I were you, I would get a skill that is really hard to replace because as far as I'm aware, machine learning, humanoid robots, let's just say that it might not have our best interests in mind. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.